In the previous videos, I've alluded to why you might choose to use a template file or a theming function at various points in your code, but I just wanted to explain clearly why you might choose one over the other. On the modular level, you have a choice as to what you're going to use, and both of them allow you to use pre-processing functions, so it's really up to the discretion of the developer to decide which one. The benefit of using a template file is that the resulting code that needs to be modified by a themer is simpler. You have a single file that's mostly HTML with just a little bit of PHP in it to render certain elements, for example, in the code. And that may be a lot easier for a certain type of individual to work with than a theming function, which is a PHP construct that might look a little bit more confusing than a straight up HTML file. So if you anticipate people needing to modify the output of your code, but not having a lot of experience with development, then a template file might be a better way to go. Now the downside to that is that there's a little bit more overhead. You have an extra file in your module that you need to carry around, and when people override it, that's an extra file in their theme layer that they need as well. It's also a little bit harder to understand the context of that template file because you're seeing it inside of a theme or inside of a module rather than next to a set of other theming functions that might be related, for example. Okay, if you're thinking about going with a theming function, the advantage to that is that it's easier to implement. You don't have to create an additional file or abstract that out. You can use straight up PHP. And the challenge then is being disciplined enough to extract all of the logic out into your function that passes data to that theme function and then using that theme function for output. When it comes to overriding that theme function, that function will get copied into the template.php file inside of the theme layer. And I, as I mentioned earlier, we'll talk about that later. And then the modifications can happen to that function right then inside of that. But it requires a basic understanding of the structure of PHP in order to really manipulate that theme function. 